Okay, more good news today. I got the uh, snake egg magnet running real stable now. And uh, I've also got this system running on capacitors. And uh, there's the uh, charging capacitor. That's a 2.3 volt, 22 farad super cap. And there's the voltage on that. And this is being driven off of that capacitor right there. That's a 2.3 volt, 50 farad super cap. There's the voltage on that. You can see it's not going down very fast. I have a battery here. I can zap the super cap and charge it back up. Or today when the sun comes out, I'm going to try that little solar cell, which is a 3.5 volt solar cell. And that should get the job done just fine. Uh, there's the amp draw on the system now. It's about 20, 25 milliamps on that. And that's running quite stable. Now this coil here is just an air coil, uh, coil of wire, and I showed yesterday it lighting up this LED, and you see it's not lighting up, it's too far away. This is about two inches, two, three inches away, but what it's doing is it's running a jewel thief, and uh, that jewel thief is on right now. Here, I'll disconnect it, you can see how it goes on and off, and um, the energy coming off of that coil as far away as that is, is running through that circuit and driving that jewel thief. And um, that's pretty neat. That's a voltage bumper is what that circuit does. And it bumps the voltage up high enough to run the jewel thief on very low uh, amperage. And here again, this capacitor will slowly load up on the back end of this system. And then I could swap it with the front one and run it the other direction. But you see that cap's going down, but it's not going down all that fast. And this thing's just running away. And it's not making much noise, and it's fairly stable. And I can rev this up just like uh, any other way. If I turn these dials up here, these are the potentiometers. This will rev right on up. Listen to it. start to go unstable. And that's running off that super cap. Now there went my amp draw way on up. I'll turn this back down to about about 20 or 30 milliamps and this thing will stabilize out again. And of course as I rev that up those lights on the jewel peak came on brighter too. And of course I'm pumping more juice into the back capacitor on the back end of the system. And like I say this is all running on capacitors folks. This isn't running on a battery. Now, if I put the battery on it, let me show you how this works. I'll just simulate adding energy to the system. And this will load energy back up into the supercapacitor here. And that's a 50 farad, big as far as super caps go, as far as I'm concerned, 2.3 volt. I'll stop this at about 2.5 volts here. Disconnect that. And that will continue to run, run on and along here. I can get this down to about 10 milliamps and it'll still barely run. But uh, that's pretty darn stable now. And I ran this for an hour last night like this and it just runs merrily along. And there's the capacitor continuing to climb and the jewel thief is still on. Pretty neat stuff. And uh, this is the circuit. This is the Johnny Davro circuit that I'm using. And like I say, it's posted over at the energeticforum.com. Or you can go to his channel. His channel is Johnny Davro at the YouTube.